Okay, so if we now look at um, our second question, it's asking us to find f h of x. Now, if we was asking us to find f h of a value, by far the easiest method will be to substitute that value into h of x to get a value out, and then substitute that remaining value into f of x to get your final value. However, we're looking for the composite function here, so we need to do f h of x. So effectively, what we're going to do is we are going to substitute h of x in to f of x. So wherever we have x in f of x, we're going to have the expression from h of x. So if we write that out first of all, so I'm going to have 2, then 3x plus 5, all squared. Subtract 3, 3x plus 5. So first job, let's expand the quadratic. So that's going to give me two lots of 9x squared plus 30x plus 25. Okay, now we can expand our two remaining brackets. 18x squared, 60x plus 50. Subtract 9x, subtract 15. And then we've just got to do a bit of tidying up. We've got some like terms to collect. We've got x's. And we've also got some constant terms. Uh, we've got the plus 50 and the minus 50. So 18x squared, 60x, subtract 9x, 50, subtract 50. Well done.